What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Lauren. As you can tell by the title today, we are going to be doing a chatty get ready with me. I have a few products that I want to play with today and I need to get ready for the day. So I figured that we would just sit down and talk. I have some updates I want to give you guys and kind of catch you up on what's been going on in my life. So I figured that we would just hang out today and play with some new makeup. So if you are interested in getting ready with me and hanging out with me today, then let's get to it. <laughs> Alrighty, so I've scooted you guys in nice and close so that way we can really see what's going on here. Um, so before we get started talking about life and all of these exciting things, I want to go ahead and get started with primer. Um, today I am trying the new Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. So this is hemp derived cannabis extract and blue agave extract, activate all day hydration and hold. Oil-free, silicone-free, gluten-free, cruelty-free, paraben-free, vegan. So this looks fun, and I figured that we would give it a go. I've never, I don't think, yeah, I've never tried anything from Milk Makeup before. So this is what the packaging looks like. It has really good reviews on Sephora, like really, really good reviews. I think it has like 1,500 comments and reviews and like 4.8 stars or something. So I'm just going to pump out, and as you can tell, I'm a little bit shiny. I have done my skincare for the day. I'm just gonna pump it out on my fingers. Ooh, it's like sticky. Is there directions? How do you do this? I should have probably looked. Pump one to two shots of primer on the back of your hand. Blend a thin layer onto clean skin before makeup application. Allow formula one minute to fully absorb to activate grip for all day hold. Usually I would use um, two pumps. I go a little bit heavy with primer sometimes, um, but I'm just gonna use one. This has like a gel texture, but it is a little bit sticky. Like, now my face is all red. I have such sensitive skin on my face. Like the second I touch my face, it turns like bright red. That's sticky, can you see that? We'll just let that guy kinda hang out. I'm drinking iced coffee because for some reason lately, I have not been sleeping well. I've been like having a really hard time not getting to sleep, like falling asleep is fine, but staying asleep has been like a serious issue for me lately. Um, so for foundation, I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. I think it stopped making this, and I'm pretty sure this is really, really old, but I used to love this foundation, and I just wanna play with it again. Um, and this is in the shade 50 Natural Beige, in case you're curious. Oh, this is so dry. Maybe I shouldn't use this. It was like the first pump that was pretty dry. And I'm taking this on a Morphe sponge. I'm just taking one pump to start with. Oh my God, I forgot how thick this foundation was. And like normal, I am self tan, so I'm matching my foundation to my body and my neck, not my actual face shade. So I guess we should probably address the elephant in the room while I'm doing this, um, my hair. For those of you who are new here, I got my hair done recently. Uh, last week was it, I got my hair done. And it's, this foundation shade is, all right, this foundation is not working for me. That's really old, I need to get rid of that. So I'm gonna take this off and start over. All right, so I'm just gonna reapply primer. That was a waste, kind of annoying. Um, But so the elephant in the room, I got my hair done last week. And for those of you who don't know, I have naturally like shoulder length a little bit longer than shoulder length hair. And I've been blonde for a while now. I'm not naturally blonde. My root color is my actual hair color. I'm pretty, pretty dark brunette. But last week I decided to get my hair done in preparation for the wedding. I know it's like months away, but I wanted to go and get extensions put in. So I got 24 inches of hair installed. Um, I got tape-in extensions, and I also went a little bit darker 
with my hair and warmer. I used to be like white, white blonde and it was like kind of unnatural looking. So I guess I'll show you guys. This is, this is all the hair. Right now it's kind of a mess because I showered last night and I washed it for the first time and I didn't really want to style it or put a bunch of product in it because I just wanted it to have a break and kind of chill out and stuff because we did have to tone my extensions and I wanted to put oil in them and do like a hair mask and just like let both my hair and the extensions recover a little bit. Um, but with that being said, I love them. People have been asking me a lot, like, do you love them? Do you like them? And the answer is yes, I do absolutely, absolutely love them. Um, they're not as much work as I thought they were gonna be. And honestly, my hairdresser did such a good job. They match my hair perfectly. We didn't even like cut them to blend them in or anything. I think next time I go, I might get some layers put in, but I love my hair so much. She gave me like this warm, pretty caramelly blonde which I'm actually still pretty cool toned, but like so much more natural. Like I didn't even know I needed it, but I just needed to take a step back from like the excessive bleach and purple shampoo. She can attest, I love my purple shampoo. I want a little ham. I was like gray when I walked in there. By the way, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Golden Beige. I was looking looking pretty rough when I walked in there. So she took great care of me and did such a good job. I was there for six hours, I think. Literally like six hours. It took such a long time, but she did such a good job. She toned my hair and like, oh my God, it just looks amazing. Like I said, yesterday was my first time washing them. Um, and it actually was a lot less painful than I was anticipating. The only thing is you just really need to be conscientious of what products you're using, nothing alcohol-based because that breaks down the tape. And um, you just wanna be sure that you're taking really good care of the extension hair so that way you can keep reusing it. So like I said, I wanted to get this done for the wedding, but I just decided to go ahead and do it now because I have like a bachelorette party, rehearsal dinner, all that kind of stuff coming up. And I really just wanted to make sure that my hair was exactly how I wanted. This will kind of give us a few months now and a few sessions to play around with the blonde color if I want to go cooler or go a little warmer, you know, that kind of thing. But I've gotten so many compliments on them, so thank you guys so much. You guys are so sweet. And I'm really obsessed with them. I'm gonna keep them for a while. I just feel like more confident with long hair. I don't know. Um, it was cute having short hair, but I don't know. I was just kind of over it. And I used to wear clip-ins a lot, but I just, I'm the furthest thing from a hair person. Like, I'm so bad at hair. Like, truly so, so bad at hair. So, messing with clip-ins was just a pain in the ass. If anybody has good styling tips for, like, super, super long hair, please, like, DM me, comment them below, help me out. I love all my products that I'm using. Um, I think they're really, really great products. And I'm actually going to um, film and upload a hair care routine because people have been asking me a million questions about what I'm using and all that kind of stuff. So I am gonna do that. And I really like my routine and the products I'm using. I just like don't really understand why I can't work a curling iron like everybody else. So if you have any helpful suggestions, tips, let me know, help me out. So I just did my concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer, nothing too crazy or new there. And I'm just going to set all that with my Too Faced Peach Perfect, just taking my Morphe sponge, not baking, but just setting everything really nicely. So people have been asking me also how the wedding's been going, how the wedding planning, um, everything is good. We are on track, we're doing really, really well. Um, we have pretty much everything finalized. I did decide to go ahead and hire a videographer. Nick and I were debating it for a really long time and we both felt that, oh, my self tan on my hands is horrendous. We both felt that we didn't need it. Um, but then in the end, I decided it's just something that although I didn't need, I really, really wanted one. I'm debating if I still want to vlog, maybe while we get ready, something like that. We'll see how I feel. I don't wanna be stressed out day of running around with a vlog camera 
Um, but I do want to do like a little bit of a behind the scenes vlog for you guys. Just so you can like see what it was like and what I was feeling, the experience, all that kind of stuff. So I look like a flat piece of paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and bronze and put some blush on and finish up my face just so you don't have to stare at me like this. I look ridiculous. Um, and I'm going into this new uh, benefit. This is the Cheerleaders Bronze Squad. Um, these little palettes that they came out, they came out with two of them. And I got the one that came with, come on, this thing is like jammed in there. So this is what it looks like. It's really, really cute. I got the one that comes with the new Hoola Caramel shade right here. And then we have regular Hoola in here and we have Gold Rush and Coralista blushes. Um, and this new like limited edition or specific to this palette highlight in the shade Cookie. Um, so yeah, I just thought this was really, really cute. Um, I do own Gold Rush separately, I don't think, and I own, of course, Hoola separately, but everything else I don't have in this palette. I want to go in with, I'm going to try Hoola Caramel. I'm like really curious about that one. Okay. I'm just gonna blend this out. <laughs> that looks a little bit better. All right, less is more. I just went in too heavy handed. Um, but yeah, wedding planning is going really well. Last weekend, last weekend, two weekends ago, um, we did do our first food tasting, or not our first, like we did our menu tasting, and it was really, really fun. I was going to vlog it. But I just decided not to. I didn't want to vlog because Nick and I have not been able to do a lot of wedding stuff together. This was like kind of the first real thing that we were able to do as a couple and that he was able to come to just because it's the nature of, it's just, it's just the nature of the beast. He's been away for like a month um, and with moving and stuff like that, he just hasn't been able to be as involved as I think we would both like for him to be. Now I'm just going to take regular hula and contour my nose. Um, so this was like the first thing that we were really able to do together and like hang out and enjoy ourselves and like make decisions together and really talk about the wedding and like plans because I've had to make, unfortunately, a lot of decisions by myself. Um, and I know he wants to be involved and it's not the issue of like he doesn't care or anything like that But it's just like I said the nature of our lives. He's just been really busy and gone So it was like I said the first time we were really able to do something together and like enjoy each other and like have Serious conversations and discuss things So I just I didn't feel comfortable whipping out my camera and it was just like a really personal thing for us And we were just enjoying ourselves. There will not be a vlog of that unfortunately but we do still have our cake tasting left um, so I might vlog that additionally we do want certain things to be a surprise for our guests and for people to find out the day of I don't want to give away everything that we're doing so I'm being a little bit picky and choosy on what I share with you guys regarding the wedding um, I thought I was gonna be a little bit more open but as we go along I'm kind of learning that I don't want everything to be revealed. Now I'm just gonna go in with Coralista blush really quick. So yeah, I think that we're gonna keep some stuff a little bit more of a secret. Um, but yeah, wedding planning has been good. I really like have no complaints. Um, we did finally set a date for my bachelorette party, which is really, really exciting. I'm not gonna tell you guys yet where we're going, um, but I will try and vlog that, uh, no guarantees because it is a fun weekend away with all of my friends who I have not seen in a really, really long time and I'm really excited about it. My plan right now is to vlog. I'm just gonna go in with the new uh, Naked Reloaded palette and just play around with this guy a little bit. Um, but yeah, I do plan on vlogging a little bit. I think it would be really fun to vlog while my friends are around and show you guys what we do, but again, no promises. I don't want people to be disappointed when I say I'm vlogging and then like I forget my camera or my camera dies or I just don't feel like doing it. Um, because these are all like special important life events and I don't know, I just, I don't wanna share everything. I wanna enjoy the moment. 
So uh, first of all, if you haven't felt the packaging on this, it's like like a pillow. It's This is crazy. This is really nice packaging. So this is just what it looks like. Not feeling the most inspired by these shades, honestly. These look kind of boring in person, but I want to play with it. They really revamped their packaging. That's like really, really nice. I'm just going to take this color blur here in the corner and just set my lid. Um, I'm going to take Bucked right here and just throw that in my crease as my transition shade. I think I'm going to do winged eyeliner today. I haven't worn winged eyeliner in so, so long. I want to know what the thought process on like why some of these pans are bigger than others. I guess they like made the ones that you they think you would use the most bigger. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Boundaries right here. Um, this actually has a little bit of a sparkle to it, but there's not really another transition shade in this palette. My parents are coming to visit at the end of the month, and they are actually bringing my dress um, because I purchased my dress in New York while I still lived there, um, and obviously it had to get made because I got it a little bit customized. Um, so it took a little bit longer, but my parents are going to drive it down. They did offer to mail it, which was super kind of them. The bridal salon offered to mail it, but I just don't trust the mail. <laughs> so, um, I just asked my parents to bring it when they come. Special delivery all the way from New York for me. I'm going in with Endgame now, just in the corner with a really, really light hand. Um, I do have some of my accessories. I do still need to pick up a few things. Um, I did buy some jewelry that I originally thought I was really gonna like with the dress, but it just, it just, it wasn't me at all. And it sucks, I actually ordered them from Etsy, so you can't return. So now I have earrings that I don't know what I'm gonna do with because they're not something that I would ever wear again. Alrighty, I have finished my eyeshadow. I just went in with Angel Fire like on the lid and I'm just doing some black liner. I did decide I wanted to do a little bit of a wing. So some people have asked me also like, am I gonna do another hair trial? Cause you guys saw on that one vlog that I didn't like it. Um, and the answer is yes. I'm actually going when um, my mom and Nick's mom are here at the end of the month, first week in April. Um, we're gonna go and do hair trials for everyone. I kind of, I knew I didn't want an updo, but I needed to get one and see for sure that that's not what I wanted. I, I mean, like, no fault to the stylist. Like, I knew I wasn't gonna like it, which sounds really stupid, but I just, I needed to know that I 100% did not want that. Um, so now that I do know that, I'm gonna go get what I think I actually want, which who knows, I may hate that too. I'm gonna go do that in a few weeks with both the moms. I thought it would be something fun for us to do together. So yes, don't worry, I am getting another hair trial done. All right, I think those wings are even enough. If not, whatever, that's as even as I can get them. I'm just gonna throw on a coat of mascara. I'm going in with my NARS Climax my mascara, mascara. Oh, I almost forgot. Okay, giveaway, yes. Um, there will be another giveaway coming. I'm very excited. Um, I just don't know when exactly. I want it to be kind of like a summer spring situation. Um, so it will be probably maybe like May. I don't know. I don't know when exactly I want to do it yet, but I know I do want to do a giveaway for sure. You guys are awesome. And I just want to do something nice for you guys so yes there will be a giveaway coming when i did my last giveaway i got a few uh, like complaints i guess we could call them that it wasn't international i don't know what i'm gonna make the rules yet or anything like that but you have to understand for a small youtuber like me first of all to do a giveaway is kind of a big deal like i'm giving a lot of products away that cost money and you know it's it's free to you guys to do a giveaway but it's not free to me and to have to mail something international that has weight to it, that I have to take care of packing and all that kind of stuff, it's a lot more work than people think. So um, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna make it international and feel really, really bad, um, but we'll, we'll see where I'm at. I'm not saying no at this point in time, but 
I don't know. So now I'm just gonna do my eyebrows really quickly. I'm just going in with my Dip Out Pomade in Taupe. Um, usually in this, I would use Ash Brown, but because my hair color has changed, it's a little bit softer and I'm just liking a softer brow. I'm gonna fast forward through this part because nobody wants to watch. Brows are on, I'm going to finish up the eyes. Um, I'm just gonna take this color on the corner here, a bribe, and I'm gonna use this as my inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight. I'm going to take a little bit of boundaries and bucked and just use a pencil brush to get that on my lower lash line a little bit. Wow, I'm so bad at these. I can't talk and do makeup at the same time. Um, there's been something that I wanted to kind of address that has been on my mind lately that has just been happening, I guess, more frequently that I'm noticing it more. Um, so I've been getting so many DMs lately of people asking me makeup related questions, which first of all, Hear me out, don't get mad at me before I say what I'm about to say. I'm taking my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Lately, I've been noticing an influx of like makeup related questions in my DMs, asking me questions about products and things like that. And this is where I stand on it. I just, I need to vent for a second. I love helping people and I love answering people's makeup questions and I am by no means an expert. I do have a makeup certification, so I have had some formal training, but I'm also pretty much self-taught. My foundation was all learned from YouTube and doing stuff like this, trial and error, that kind of thing. So I, I genuinely do love helping people and teaching people about makeup. It's what I'm passionate about. It's what I've chosen to make a career out of. It's, it's so fun for me when, especially like family or my sister will call me when she's at Sephora and be like, hey, what do I need? What's new? What's good? So I, I do genuinely enjoy that. But there comes a time when it gets a little bit frustrating for me. Um, I'm just going to go in with Cookie, the highlighter here. The thing that kind of irritates me is people who I don't have a relationship with, I don't talk to, I don't really know, asking me for free advice all the time. And that's kind of hard for me because I want to help people, but, ooh, oh my God. It's like giving away the secret sauce kind of, because this is what I do for a living. I teach people makeup and I make videos. And if I give you all my free information, why would you watch my videos then? Why would you, why would you subscribe to me on YouTube? Why would you follow me on Instagram? Because I don't have anything to offer you then. And it's the same thing for people who ask me a million questions that I've made a video on the topic that they're asking about, like what's a great foundation? And I'm like, well, you know, I have a lot of videos that talk about some really great foundations and products that I've been loving. And like, I know you don't watch my videos. So why are you like thinking that I'm just like your personal helpline for whenever you need something makeup related? And I guess it comes with the territory of I choose to put myself out there. This highlight is like blinding. I choose to put myself out there and I choose to do this, but you know, I'm still trying to be successful and make a profit as well. And I really can't just be giving out free information all the time because like I said, you would have no reason to watch me then. And it's frustrating to me that people are asking the same questions that I've literally made like videos on and like, I don't know, it's just like, they just come directly to me to get kind of the short answer. It doesn't really bother me when family does it or when my friends do it. I went to high school with you. I haven't spoken to you in like six years. Like you now want to know what my favorite mascara is. Like I've always been super kind and I will tell people and I will always give them the advice that they're seeking. Um, but I guess this is my proclamation that I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not answering DMs for makeup advice anymore. I'm not accepting phone calls of people wanting to know what my favorite product for this is and that kind of stuff. I do appreciate that people find me knowledgeable and think I know what I'm talking about. That is very flattering to me and that they trust my opinion and that they want my opinion. But I just, I don't, I don't know that I can keep doing that and 
be successful at this as well. I'm trying to make a living off of it, but yet I'm just kind of doing it on the side for free. So it's kind of a double-edged sword and really I'm, I'm not complaining saying like I hate when people ask me questions and stuff like that. It's, it's not that at all. It's just my frustrations of I'm trying to be successful at one thing but people are trying to what feels like take advantage of me or my knowledge or what I know, my skill. Um, I have people asking me all the time like will you do my makeup for free, that kind of thing and I'm like you know I'd love to like I, I really really would but you know but I have a service based career so how can I offer you a service for free or how can I give you my service for free and turn around and charge someone else so it's really really difficult to find the fine line of like helping a friend out and doing someone a favor that kind of thing but still making a profit it's really hard when um, people are basically trying to, and it's probably not purposely take advantage of you. It's, I'm, I don't think that's the case at all. Um, I just, I think that some people see it as kind of like a convenience thing and it's like, oh, Lauren will know. I'll just, I'll just ask her. I'll just DM her. And like I said, while I do appreciate that people think and find me knowledgeable. I don't think that I continue can continue to dole out free advice and sit here and make YouTube videos with the same advice and expect you guys to then watch them. Um, it's just kind of where I stand on that. This, by the way, is just the Benefit Bad Gout Bang Mascara. It's my favorite. It's my favorite lower lash mascara. So onto a lighter topic. Um, the lashes I'm going to be applying today are just the Ardell Double Demi Wispies. So all that's left to do is put on our lip color. And I have this new Morphe Liquid Lip in the shade Virgin. I've never tried the Morphe Liquid Lips, so I'm kind of curious. And the lip liner I'm going to go in with today is the Urban Decay Lip Pencil in Liar. All right, you guys, this is going to conclude today's video and makeup look. I love how it turned out. It's a little spicier than my everyday makeup, but I'm really loving all of the products that I use. So yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Just fine before I met you I drink too much and that's an issue But I'm okay